In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Rezin, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled, as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son, Shir Jashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper road, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care you remain tranquil and do not fear. Let not your courage fail. Before these two stumps of smoldering brands, the blazing anger of Rezin and the Arameans, and the son of Remaliah, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah plots against you, saying, Let us go and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabil king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Remaliah's son, the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation, unless your faith is firm. You shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles, renowned. He is, is he, as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. For lo, the kings assemble, they come on together. They also see, and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. God upholds his city forever. Quaking seizes them there, anguish like a woman's in labor, as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarshish. God upholds his city forever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
the threats and the warnings to Chorazin and Capernaum can make us question the reality and function of miracles. The people in those twin lakeside towns in Northwest Galilee witnessed many miraculous signs and healings by Jesus, but they were completely unmoved by his message. With prophetic anger, he admonished their hardness of heart. His miracles were for conversion, a new perspective and lifestyle, a turning away from selfishness, a showing of concern for the poor and the needy. His healings showed his love for suffering humanity they were not intended to be some sort of a magic show and draw him into the limelight, but instead to show God's desire for us to all form a wholesome and healthy family. Many centuries before, Moses stood before Pharaoh with words of warning, bringing down 10 plagues on Egypt. It's notable that like Jesus, Moses didn't use this miraculous power for his own glory, but he had to flee for his life into the desert. Although he was raised in the luxury of Pharaoh's palace as a young man, Moses showed a strong sense of justice, sensitive to any oppression or mistreatment of others. He could not idly stand by when he saw an Egyptian striking a Hebrew, nor could he tolerate the sight of one slave being beaten by another. A passion for justice already burned in the young Moses, preparing him for his role as liberator in later years. We too are called to be liberators, to serve those most in need, and to help them to live in the freedom of God's children. Let us pray then for the desire and the courage to help those who are most in need. And now trusting in the wisdom and love of God, we offer him these our prayers of petition for Christians everywhere, that they may constantly remember the need for repentance and forgiveness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have ignored or rejected the gospel message, that they may come to discover the unsearchable riches of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations at war, that they may discover repentance as a pathway to peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are weighed down by feelings of guilt, that they may be refreshed by the sacrament of reconciliation and find new life in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for health and blessings for the Morose family for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your most holy will. We offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. 
a new day, qui tolis peccat amundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.